Hello class, welcome to Algebra Lesson 1-3, which is all about dimensional analysis. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to use dimensional analysis to solve problems. There are a couple skills I want to review with you before we jump into example one. So if we were looking at fractions, and I had something that looked like this, 4 over 4, those would cancel, right? And this would equal like a 1. If I had x over x, those would again cancel and equal 1. Then let's practice talking about what if we had two fractions we were multiplying together, something like this. Remember, before you multiply fractions, you can reduce on the diagonals. So I could see, okay, here's a diagonal. Do they have anything in common? In this case, they're both a 4, so they would become 1s. And I would look on the other diagonal, and I'd see those are both x's, so they would become 1. Therefore, this whole thing is just 1. Or, if you oops, multiplied across, you would have 4x over 4x, which again, it's the same thing on top and bottom, so it equals 1. We're going to use that idea, and this idea of canceling things on the diagonals applies to both numbers, variables, and also labels. So if I have the label feet on top and the label feet on bottom somewhere, they're going to cancel, okay? So looking at example one, we want to convert. We want to go from 12 feet per minute to inches per second. So I have two different types of measurements, right? I have a distance, I have feet and inches, and I also have time. I have minutes to seconds. So you can see I wrote those down here. So if we think about feet to inches, I know that one foot equals 12 inches. If we think about minutes to seconds, one minute equals 60 seconds. So all I'm going to do is practice converting things, okay? So I have to convert feet to inches and minutes to seconds. So I start by setting up a fraction. I say 12 over 1. So 12 feet over 1 minute. And then I have to start converting. So I have to choose, do I want to convert time first or the um, distance first? Usually, I personally like to just do time right away, um, but you can do either one. So I would convert one minute to 60 seconds, right? So how do I know where to put that one minute? Well, just like I was talking about on the last slide, we want our labels to cancel. So if I have a minute label on top, or on bottom, I need to put a minute label on top. So one minute equals... 60 seconds. Okay. Then the cool thing is those minutes cancel and that label goes away. So now I have 12 feet per 60 seconds. <clears throat> so then I move on and actually instead of having to read my writing, why don't I just move that? That was a little messy. Okay, so one minute becomes 60 seconds, and then I have to convert feet to inches. So I have a label for feet on top. That means I need a label for feet on bottom, so that way they can cancel. So I'm going to say one foot equals how many inches? 12. So now I have one foot equals 12 inches. And right now, if we look at the top, the only label I have left is 12. If we look at the bottom, or the only label I have on top is inches. And if we look at the bottom, the only label I have left is seconds. And I'm looking for inches per second. So I know I have the labels I need. So now all I have to do is multiply across. So I'm going to take that 12, and I'm going to take all of my numbers, so 12 times 1 times 12. 
which is 144 inches. Then on the bottom, I'm going to take that 1 times 60 times 1, or 60 seconds. So the last thing I have left is I have to divide that. I have to simplify that fraction. So 144 divided by 60 leaves us with 2.4 inches per second. So if we said something is moving at a rate of 12 feet per minute, that is the same as saying something moves 2.4 inches per second. Okay, and if you're confused, that's okay. We're going to do a couple more examples. All right, example two, convert 810 kilometers per hour to meters per minute. So I start whatever you start with. So the first number they give you, so 810 kilometers. And then the word per, remember that just means to divide, if I could spell divide. Okay, um, so 810 kilometers divided by one hour. So then I know I have to convert from kilometers to meters and hours to minutes. So one kilometer, remember kilo means 1,000. So one kilometer is 1,000 meters. One hour is 60 minutes. <clears throat> so then, again, I personally like to start with time. So I'm going to convert from hours to minutes first. So if I want this hours label to cancel, I need to put my hours on top of the next fraction. So I know one hour is the same as 60 minutes. So I can cross those off. Then I'm done with my time. I have to convert from kilometers to meters. So if I want my kilometers on top to cancel, I need kilometers on bottom. So I put kilometers on bottom. And I know one kilometer is 1,000 meters. So on top, the only label I have left is meters. On bottom, the only label I have left is minutes. Now I just multiply across. So I'm going to take that 810, and I'm going to say 810 times 1 times 1,000 equals 810,000 meters. And then I'm going to take the 1 times the 60 times the 1, so 60, the only label I have left is minutes, so 810,000 meters per 60 minutes, and then I simplify that fraction by dividing it. So 810,000 divided by 60 is 13,500 meters per minute would be my answer. Okay, I have one more example. So this time, <clears throat> we're converting from 60 miles per hour to feet per second. So I'm going from miles to feet and hours to seconds this time. Okay, so miles to feet, one mile equals 5,280 feet. That might be a number that you have to look up. That might be a number you don't have memorized yet. Pretty soon, <clears throat> you should have that memorized just because we're going to use that information a lot over the next two years. And you'll use it in high school and stuff too. So it's something good to memorize. <clears throat> so one, one mile equals 5,280 feet. And then going from hours to seconds, I would actually go from hours to... There's another um, way we measure time between hours and seconds, and that's minutes and then seconds, right? So we're going to convert from hours to minutes and then from minutes to seconds. Okay, so I'm going to start again with time. So I know if I want this hour label to cancel on the bottom, I better have that hour label on top. So I do. Now those cancel. And I know one hour, if I'm going from hours to minutes, is 60 minutes. Now if I want to go from minutes to seconds, 
I need my minutes to cancel. So I have minutes on the bottom. So that means I need one on the top. So I cancel my minutes. And one minute is the same as 60 seconds. Okay, so I've converted my time. Next, I need to convert my distance. So if I have miles on top, I need miles on bottom. So one mile equals 5,280 feet. So then my miles cancel, and I'm left with just um, feet on top and seconds on bottom. So I'm going to do 60 times 1 times 1 times 5,280 for the top number. Then on bottom, I'm going to do 60 times 60, and then I guess times 1 times 1. But on the top, I should get a number that looks like this. On the bottom, I should get this number. And then when I divide them, I end up at 88 feet per second. Okay, so hopefully these conversions aren't too bad, but if you have questions on them, please don't hesitate to ask for some help. I'm more than happy to assist you. Have a great day.